Hello friends welcome to my channel the world When you think of people who invented something that is used daily in the world today or something that has literally changed the world you immediately think of some extraordinary clever scientist who recites physics formula day and night but that is not true for all inventors so today in this video you will know about the famous things invented accidentally like chips coke penicillin etc number 6 ink jet printer when a canon engineer rested his hot iron on his pen by accident ink was ejected from the pen's point a few moments later this principle led to the creation of the ink jet printer if that happened with us our parents would probably scold us well number 5 x-ray images on november 8 1895 german physics professor wilhelm röntgen stumbled on x-rays while experimenting with leonard and crookes tubes and began studying them there are conflicting accounts of his discovery because röntgen had his lab notes burned after his death but this is a likely reconstruction by his biographers wrong gen was investigating cathode rays using a fluorescent screen painted with barium platinoside and a crookes tube which he had wrapped in black cardboard so the visible light from the tube would not interfere he noticed a faint green glow from the screen about 1 meter away wrong gen realized some invisible rays coming from the tube were passing through the cardboard to make the screen glow he found they could also pass through books and papers on his desk wrong gen threw himself into investigating these unknown rays systematically two months after his initial discovery he published his paper wrong gen discovered its medical use when he made a picture of his wife's hand on a photographic plate from due to x rays the photograph of his wife's hand was the first photograph of a human body part using x rays when she saw the picture she said i have seen my death number 4 potato chips this must be the only example in the history of the world where rage benefited the person involved in 1853 in a new york restaurant when a customer complained that the fried potatoes were too soggy and thick and repeatedly sent them back to the waiter the chef george crum got so fed up that he took the request for a thinner potato quite literally he cut the potatoes into thin slices fried them and covered them in salt and voila the most favorite snack in the world was born so the next time you are angry you might possibly change the world number 3 microwave oven percy spencer was experimenting with a new vacuum tube called a magnetron while doing research for the radian corporation in 1945 he tried another experiment with popcorn when the candy bar in his pocket began to melt When the popcorn began to pop, Spencer immediately saw the potential in his revolutionary process. In 1947, Radion built the Radar Range, the first microwave oven which weighed 750 pounds, was 51.5 feet tall, and cost about $5,000. When the Radar Range be first became available for home use in the early 1950s. Its bulky size and expensive price tag made it unpopular with consumers. But in 1967, a much more popular 100 watt countertop version was introduced at a price of $495. Do you think what would we do without the microwave? Number two, Coca-Cola. While serving as Lieutenant Colonel John Pemberton, who was a pharmacist. was wounded he got addicted to the morphine used to ease the pain he began experimenting with coca and coca wines for opium free alternatives 
eventually creating his own version of Vin Mariani containing Cola Nut and Damiana, which he called Pemberton French Vine Coca. Relying on Atlanta, druggist Willis Venable to test and help him perfect the recipe of for the beverage, which he formulated by trial and error. It eventually included blending the base syrup with carbonated water by accident when trying to make another glass. Pemberton decided then to sell it as a fountain drink rather than a medicine. And we cannot thank Mr. Pemberton enough. Number 1. Penicillin The traditional version of this story describes the discovery as fortuitous accident in his laboratory in the basement of St. Mary's Hospital in London. Alexander Fleming noticed a patty dish containing Staphylococcus that had been mistakenly left open, was contaminated by blue-green mold from an open window, which formed a visible growth. There was a halo of inhibited bacterial growth around the mold. Fleming concluded that the mold released a substance that repressed the growth and caused lysine, breaking down of the membrane of a cell of the bacteria. Scientists now suspect that Fleming's story of the initial discovery of the antibacterial properties of the penicillin mold is inaccurate. With a modern understanding of how the bacteria and the mold interact, scientists know that if bacteria were already present on the petri dish, they would have inhibited the growth of the mold, and Fleming would not have noticed any mold on the plate at all. A more likely story is that a score from a laboratory one floor below, run by C. G. Letouche, was transferred to Fleming's petri dish before bacteria were added. At the time of the initial discovery, Letouche was working with the same mold found in Fleming's petri dish. Fleming showed that if penicillium ribbons were grown in the appropriate substrate, it would exude a substance with antibiotic properties which he dubbed penicillin. I think the only time more was paid so much attention, perhaps. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and information. Thank you.